as I'm listening, you know, I think you kind of architected uh, an energy uh, of an idea of sacredness. And I start thinking about how, you know, women sort of despise the idea of being in the house nowadays, right? But in the concept that you are in the house with the family, because you know, I think a lot of women be in the house nowadays, but especially on social media, just be in the house doing nothing, looking good. But, but when it comes to building a family, there's a despisal of playing any type of role in constructing a family, right? And so, but the way you constructed it made me think about how the production of the house is creating this base of sacredness and this temple and this energetic place where things are being healed and birthed and manufactured. And I think because the science of that is lost of how to create a temple inside the house, that a person may feel like it's a cage, right? When it really is like your base, like the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, the woman's place is not in the home, that's her base. That's not her place, it's her base. Mm. That's where she runs everything else, right? If she's the healer, that's where she's creating the herbs, right? The people knocking on the house, asking mama in the neighborhood, like, do you have this, that, or the third? That's where, she has her education, mm. she has her spiritual temple, she has her oil, she has all of these different things where she's manufacturing gods walking out that house. She's mm. manufacturing healed, she's manufacturing geniuses and a multitude of different things. So that house represents something different. Mm. But in today's time, that house represents a cell. You understand me? And so women That's are That's the European consciousness, women. it's a cave. It's yeah. a cave for many, but it's not a cave for African minds and African spirit. A house is never had. My inner name, I'm Queen of Four Moot, Mother Nebet Head, the Lady of the House, mm -hmm. the Lady of the Heavenly Realm. That's what the house is. Mm -hmm. The house structure, there is a, a door. At the door is a feather. And the feather is about balancing the heart on the scales of my aunt. Mm -hmm. So in that house, that is what you're to receive. Inside of that house, there is a bowl mm -hmm. that looks like a window, but that represents the tit. In that house, you're gonna be nourished. You're gonna be fortified. Above the house, there is another bowl, and that bowl has a wave of water on it. In that house, you'll be purified. She is the lady of the house, because you, in order to have a house, a home, that is divine, powerful, a house of medicine, that you have to become that medicine within your own body temple is the house. So wherever I go is my home. So the whole world is my home, actually. And wherever I place, wherever I am placed to do my work, my house begins. Right. So we just continue the home. So in that purification, liberation to purification, when you clean up your house, mm. your mind in your house, your thoughts mm. in your house, your heart and your past relationships in your house, your, your medicine, your food, you just won't let, when I first got into as a teenager, I got my small place, home, and I said, after I got rid of my asthma, my allergies, my hay fever, my PMS, and all the, a list of, fast food, toxic living and eating, poisoning my house. And when I realized that there was a way out of this and I got out of it in a house, I got it through the healing baths. I got out of my sick house. I got it through the foods that I was eating. I got out of the, my lungs returned back to me. In my house, I was able to do my movement, my yoga and my meditation in my house. And so wherever I go, I now teach women how to reclaim their home. That house is a wellness center. Mm -hmm. There's a doctor, um, I don't recall her name right now, but she is the doctor over the whole establishment. Over, she, she came in with President Obama. And she said that a home, your, your healing is not only done in hospitals, in clinics, that healing is done in the home mm -hmm. and spiritual houses. Right. So when we shift that, then all the power of medicine comes back to the home. Mm. The biggest income for America and for all modern, so-called modern worlds is medicine. Mm. What happens when we turn the medicine inside the house? Mm. Then we don't have high blood pressure anymore. Our men are not dying from prostate cancer. We're not fighting in the home because we're not a quill and calm the spirit through the foods and the juices and the herbs and the teas, all of that and the healing baths and the prayers and the meditation, the women's sacred women, they know all of that. When they go through their journey, they know what that house is supposed to be. And each room in that house is consecrated, blessed, and charged up so they know how to work their clinic, mm -hmm. their hospital, and their home. From the kitchen is your hydro, the kitchen is your healing laboratory. So you know soup, salads, juices, teas, dressings, everything is the medicine now. Mm -hmm. 
Every time somebody opens their mouth and eat, they're getting their blood clean. They're getting their kidneys repaired. They're getting their minds right because she knows what to do. In that house, there is the, not the bathroom, but the hydrotherapy room. Because the normal bathroom, you just drop. But what are you doing in that bathroom that's going to get you in your right mind and purge yourself? Yeah. Our ancestors, we, we had baths. We would go into spiritual baths. And the symbol of the bath was right by the bath in Kemet was Kepera, the sign for transformation. Mm. So in that water, when you're conscious, and you know what that water does? It takes away the pain, the trauma, the suffering, the hurt, the lack, the limitations. And you get a chance to allow that water to now restore your inner waters. Your 75, 80% of water now becomes flushed and cleansed. So now you come to your right mind. Now you know where the power dwells. Mm -hmm. The power is from inside of you. And in that bath, you get a chance to reconnect. Mm -hmm. When you come out that bath, then you have a waterfall in your, in your hydrotherapy room. That waterfall, that's the water. That's the purging. We can, we can transmute anything. So now we're now in the shower, clearing up our first eye so we can be in our right mind, not in our crazy mind, not in our vindictive mind, not in our uh, stressed out mind. We let that water, that waterfall go into our heart and clean up all those relationships that we're just having these serial killers inside of our own mm. psyche. And we start to wash and cleanse so we have healthy relationships going forward. Right. And in that water, you cleanse the womb because the cyst, the tumors and all of that is physical, emotional, psychological, abuse from the system that we have eaten, that we're drinking, and our intimacy that we bring in. In that house and that water is coming on your spine, getting your nervous system back so you're not stressing and you're not anxious even in these times. Matter of fact, you're not stressing in these times, especially because you have the information and the knowledge in that house to go to that home and make it a real home, make it a healing home, make it a healing clinic. And when your family is, you look at your family, you say, oh, you have all these issues? I know just what to do. Right. Here's your teas, here's your juice, here's your bath, here's your prayers, here's your meditation. And they'll get it even if they don't want it, mm. if they're in your house. Mm. It can be just put a pot of cinnamon on the pot and everybody's fighting, put that on the whole, goes through the whole house Let's and purifies. If, I, if, if, if a man meets a woman, what kind of tea is the sacred woman making? Well, it depends on the case. <laughs> well, it depends on the case. If he's not in his, if he's stressed out and angry and quick and he's, you make a, a um, chamomile. Hops, valerian. Calm him down. And just calm him right on down. And matter of fact, if he don't want to drink it, put it in his bath. Mm. If he don't want to take a bath, because men don't, don't want to take a bath in the beginning until they get right, then you put it in the aromatherapy. Yeah. It's going, he's going to get the medicine. That's all you have to know. Or if he's not going to take it that way, then put it around his pillow in, in the form of oils. Mm. He's going to get it in his dream world. Mm. Or if in your house, you got to get your house right. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>